I'm very pleased to welcome to the studio someone who knows the ITU very well. It's Bilal Jamusi. You're the chief of the study groups department at the Standardization Bureau for the ITU. Now, coordinating the world is a very complicated task, as you well know. Uh, your job involves coordinating study groups, focus groups, global standardization initiatives, uh, other kinds of activities. But I don't think we're going to go through all of those. I think we'll be here for quite a few days if we do. But let's, let's start with focus groups. So we are here at a time when the Digital Financial Services Focus Group is meeting. How does that fit into the, the overall ITU process? Sure. So the focus group is, a, is an open platform. Uh, it's open to members and non-members of the ITU. And we usually, uh, when we have a, a topic of intersection of common interest to the telecom sector, but also to adjacent sectors like the financial sector in this case, uh, the focus group becomes an interesting platform that's open to bring both parties to the table to have these discussions um, of, of future interest to, uh, to the world, really. So we're talking about private companies, uh, governments, regulators? Yes, that's the unique uh, value proposition of the ITU in being able to convene uh, private sector companies, regulators of telecoms, uh, governments, uh, academia, um, to, uh, to talk about uh, the issues around uh, financial services. Okay, and why was it necessary to set up this focus group, and why now? Well, the focus group has been set up for one year now. Uh, today is the second uh, workshop that we're hosting uh, around digital financial services. And when we set up this focus group a year ago, it really came at the request of the Gates Foundation as one of our new sector members in, in ITU uh, to work on digital financial services. Because in the world, there are about 2 billion people, adults, that don't have bank accounts. They have no bank services. Uh, out of those 2 billion people, 1.5 billion have mobile phones. And so uh, we can reach out through digital financial services to 1.5 billion of the unbanked population. And who's best to convene that dialogue than the ITU, where we have this reach to uh, telecom regulators, to the private sector companies. And then through the focus group, we opened to uh, the financial sector and convened a workshop a year ago to, have to start the dialogue. And today we are celebrating one year uh, since this uh, kickoff, to really go deeper into the issues of relevance to this focus group. And is that because it's been perceived as a, uh, a not particularly well-regulated sector uh, up until this moment? The issue with digital financial services, is it falls on the, uh, in the jurisdiction of two regulators, the telecom regulator and the central banks or the financial regulator. And uh, if we don't have a uh, constructive dialogue among those two entities, uh, it's very hard to, in, to, to, uh, to roll out uh, digital financial services. So the heart of the discussion in the focus group is to bring, uh, to create that dialogue between the financial service regulator and the telco regulator and to uh, draft guidelines or MOUs between the financial service regulator and telco to enable the rollout of digital financial services globally. And in your experience of these kind of focus groups with private industry, government regulators, is it like people speaking completely different languages? Is it hard for them to understand each other? Sometimes. Uh, they come with a different interest in mind. So the, the companies uh, want to make money and to, to grow the business, which is understandable. The governments and the regulators have the interest of the citizens in mind. And so the uh, ITU provides a unique platform where the various stakeholders and various interest groups can come together and, and find a common denominator that suits all the interests and, and allow, in this case, the digital financial services to be uh, rolled out. Now, I'm sure that a year in this kind of process is quite a, a short time scale. What can realistically be achieved within a year? Uh, right now, we have three drafts. The focus group has had four meetings since its uh, initiation and has been working on three uh, recommendations or, or draft output documents. One is the frame MOU between a digital financial uh, regulator and, uh, and, uh, and telco regulator, um, a set of tools and guidelines, and uh, a blueprint really on how to roll this out uh, on, in terms of interoperability. Um, they're not final products, but they are quite mature. And in this meeting uh, this week, uh, these deliverables are ge getting advanced quite a bit. And then the focus group has one more year before it finally produces its uh, final output uh, to move into the various study groups. 
uh, in the ITU, we have study groups that look at the uh, regulatory aspects of, uh, of the financial services. We have study groups looking at the quality of service. Uh, so another study group looking at the digital identity management and security. And these are all uh, topics of key interest to be able to roll out uh, digital financial services. And so the output from this focus group will span out into the various study groups to become international recommendations from the ITU. Well, given the the exponential growth of, of mobile take-up, uh, I presume that this means that the area that we're looking at, digital financial services and getting people out of financial exclusion is going to be more and more important, become more and more a priority for the ITU. Is that the case? Indeed. Uh, in fact, next year we have our uh, World Telecom Standards Assembly at the end of 2016. And uh, given the success of this focus group and the importance of this topic, um, it's, uh, it's expected that there will be some sort of a resolution of the World Telecom Standards Assembly on this topic to uh, continue to enable uh, the market, to continue to enable the regulatory environment, and to put the, the, you know, the focus, the necessary attention around the uh, digital financial services and the financial inclusion as a whole. Well, the whole fintech sector is a fascinating sector. Bill El thank you very much, and I wish you all the best. Pleasure. Thank you.